Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. So for today's video, we're just playing the deck that I made yesterday. We're testing out the three copies of Gen X Undyne. Got the Gen X controller in here. We're going to be doing the Hulk of Fibrax combo. We're going to be seeing how much better the deck is with 12 starters rather than the nine that we had before. So without further ado, let's get to the gameplay. If you're liking the channel, please consider subscribing. You'll get notified when I do new videos. All right, let's get going. All right, first game today, we're up against Mistag. Now we have a pretty good going second hand, which is lucky because we're going second here. Gonna activate Melody of the Awakening Dragon. Let's see what they're searching for. Discarding a White Stone of Ancients. This is going to special summon a Blue Eyes monster from their deck at the end of their turn. Looks like they're adding White uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon, the classic, and a alternative dragon, which is going to special summon itself, I presume. Opponent's going to set a card face down. Going to reveal the Blue Eyes White Dragon from hand to special summon the alternative dragon. Going right to end phase. Going to special summon a Blue Eyes monster from the deck. The monster they're summoning is Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. So if this card special summon, they're going to add a ritual spell or polymerization from their deck to the hand. And then during the end phase, they can add a level uh, one level eight or higher dragon monster from the deck to their hand. So this is going to search the ritual spell, presumably. And it's going to search the ritual monster, which has got a level higher than eight. So that's going to set them up to make... Uh, Blue Eyes, I think Blue Eyes Max Dragon is what he's called. Chaos Max Dragon. So we don't want any of that. Let's get activating our Imperm here. Get negating. No searching. Get out of here. All right, that's their turn done. Let's go back to our turn here. We're gonna draw an Ash. Not super helpful. We don't really have a way to start any combos, so. I thought about, you know, what do we do if we summon Gund here? Maybe we could bait with an Ash Barrier, uh, or sorry, the Ice Barrier. But uh, it's not ideal. They're probably just going to pop with Blue Eyes uh, Alternative Dragon. They don't have anything in the graveyard we'd really want to call it yet. So what I'm hoping to do here is I think I'm going to set Ice Barrier. I want to get them to attack, get Ice Barrier in the graveyard, maybe negate the effect of their Alternative Dragon if it attacks. And if they try and send something back to hand, we can maybe uh, banish what they try and send back with the egg. The egg has an effect where you can banish it from the graveyard to add a blue eyes monster from graveyard to hand. So our plan here, we're gonna kaiju something, just you know, mess up their board a little bit, and we're gonna set the call by the grave, set the ice barrier, and hope we can ash something, and hope we draw something better next turn. All right, let's get going. Okay, kaijuing. The advantage of Kaijuing is if Kaiju leaves the field for some reason, we can add it to hand again with Ice Barrier next turn. If it ends up back in our graveyard. Opponent's gonna XZ summon into Dragloobion. Gonna reveal a Blue Eyes from hand. Looks like they got another alternative dragon. That's not ideal. They're gonna get D Chacha and make a Hope Harbinger. Hope Harbinger is gonna give them the ability to negate a spell effect. So that's okay. Uh, except our Called by the Grave won't work while this is on the field. We gotta figure out a way to stop this, but Draglubion makes it so that the monster that he just special summoned, uh, I think it means, yeah, or attack, except with that monster, so only his Hope Harbinger can attack right now, so that'll reduce the damage. We're gonna get Ice Barrier in. This is a trap effect, he can't negate it. It also negates uh, Hope Harbinger's effects. Alright, back to our turn. See what we draw here. We draw the Gen X Undyne here to save the day. Alright, one normal summon will get us two Omni Negates. Let's get going. Gonna activate effect, send as cost. Send the Dragoons to the graveyard. Opponent, not gonna pay attention. They're gonna negate the Gen X Undyne. Opponent, you're helping us here. Now we can activate future Gen X Undines. We don't have to worry about having that clunky Gen X controller in hand. All right, now that that's been negated, we're gonna activate the effect of our Dragoons in graveyard. Search for our Lapis Dragon gonna summon itself here and now we can do that uh, brand new Hulk of Fibrex combo let's get going Hulk of Fibrex gonna fetch the Despot out of the deck opponent's gonna activate ultimate creation 
this is, or sorry, ultimate creature, the ultimate creature. Uh, this is going to protect his blue eyes monster from card effects and make it so it can't be destroyed. That's fine. It also says any opponent's monster at battles is destroyed at the end of damage step. Uh, that's fine as well. While this card is normal uh, in the graveyard, if he normal special summons the blue eyes, he can add this card back to the field set. But none of that matters right now. So let's just let him have his ultimate creature. We will happily ignore this blue eyes white dragon for one turn. All right, get the Mecha Phantom Beast. Gonna get our tokens. Get our dust bot back out of the graveyard. Now we're gonna tribute our Mecha Phantom Beast in one token to get an O-line out of the deck. Gonna Synchro Summon, level eight Synchro. Four load Savage Dragon. Gonna attach that Aurodon as a material. Give him 4,050 attack points bigger than the mighty blue eyes white dragon and we're gonna synchro summon making the herald of the arc light this is gonna give us another omni negate we're summoning him in attack position because opponent's got a very weak hope harbinger here we can get that out of the way get attacking get rid of that dark Lubion. his effects gonna activate nice trap opponent you're negated all right now Let's pay attention to the graveyard here. He does have an alternative in the dragon, uh, alternative dragon in the graveyard. He could activate this white stone, maybe try and send this alternative back to hand. So let's be aware of that possibility. We got two negates here. Now, if he goes to combat, he could kill our Herald of the Arc Light. So we're kind of keen to get this Herald off the field if we can. But it's an Omni negate, so you got to be careful here. He's going to try and pop our Borolode Savage Dragon. Now we can get a two for one here. We're going to call by the grave, banish the alternative from the graveyard. That's going to negate the effects of the alternative white dragon on field and prevent him from being able to send something back to hand, basically. Anything useful. He's going to activate the egg in graveyard. This is our cue. Herald of the Arclight. Get negating. Let's stop him from having that back in hand. Now he's going to activate chaos form. Chaos Form going to Ritual Summon. Now, if he's activating this, that must mean he has Chaos Max in hand. We already know his other cards, Blue Eyes White Dragon. So he's got Chaos Max, Blue Eyes White Dragon in hand. Uh, we don't want that to happen. Let's get Negating. And that's all. Can't fight. Can't fight the Mermills. All right. Well, opponent fell for the... Old, uh, oldest trick in the book, which is normal summon Gen X Undyne and trick your opponent into negating it. Let's check out our opponent's deck list. All right, opponent's playing 47 card blue eyes. Wait, you know, there's so many good blue eyes cards. You just can't fit them all. It, you can't fit them all in a, in a 40 card deck. You got to go 47. Everyone knows that. All right, he's got a single copy of the egg. Got an effect failure. Got a maiden. Maiden, uh, oh, no, he's, he's, uh, maidens are for a reason. Not actually that great. Got Sage with Eyes of Blue, got two White Stones, got double Maxi, double Ash, got triple Alternative. Got a single Dragon Spirit of White here, a Danger Thunderbird. Not sure why he's got the Danger Thunderbirds in here. A Nebula Dragon. <laughs> oh, lots of wackiness here. Got Blue Eyes Abyss, that makes sense because he's summoning Chaos Max. I guess it could have been Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon too in his final hand there. Got some trade-ins, got some melodies. Got some Dragon Shrines. Got some Return of the Dragon Lords. Got the Bingo Machines. Got the Chaos Forms. Got some other traps here. Destined Rivals. If you control Blue Eyes White Dragon, negate the effects of all face-up monster your opponent currently controls for the end of this turn. Huh. All right, it's like a one-sided skill drain for a turn. Very interesting. Extra deck looks very blue, blue eyes -y. Not going to comment too much about that. All right. Well, that's their deck. Let's go on to the next game. All right. Game two versus Faye. We got a max C here. And we got our best combo. Get Tayson. Gonna search. Try and do our special combo number two. Unfortunately, our opponent's got an Ash here. We're gonna have to change our plans. Dragoon's gonna activate in the graveyard. Let us search. Now, we would have liked to search for Prince with the Dragoons. 
and a uh, Abyss Pike with a Teus, but because this has got negated, we're going to have to fetch a Diva here. Not that bad, though. We know the Ash is out of their hand. Going to activate Diva, search for Prince. Prince going to send Dragoons, add Dragoons. This is our combo number one now. We still kept it in the deck. Getting our Mulan Glacier here. Going to get Crystal Hulk Fibrax. Fetching our Fishborg our launcher out of the deck. And now we get to make our Fujinji Ahashima, which is going to let us make our Toad. Get another search here. Special summon detach. Uh, and we'll get Moon Glacia. Got to keep keep attention here. We got five in the graveyard. We could have detached, made a Toad, special summon the Fishborg out of the graveyard. That's probably better because it gives us a negate first. But you know, sometimes uh, do it out of order just because getting uh, getting hasty. Uh, looks like we see a Radiant Multidimensional Kaiju and a Lure of Darkness here. So not going to change our plans. Still going to make Toad. Going to search for a Diva since we might as well. Set up some plays for next turn. And we're going to turn these two into a Mermail Abyssalacia. Now keep in mind, we got the Max C. We got the Heavy in hand. We can detach Pop a face up. We can turn an attacking monster's attack to zero. We got the negate with Toad. We got the Hulk of Fibrax. We can at any time turn him into a level two synchro formula synchron and turn our Moulin Glacia and that into a Baronda Fleur and draw a card. All quite sweet. Quite a strong board. Our opponent's down to two cards. Gonna activate Maxi on the upkeep. If they Kaiju us, we'll draw a card. And what do you know? Another Radiant. Get drawing. We'll send Toad back to the deck. But uh, we could have sent, it probably would have made more sense to send a Dragoons or something back, but uh, maybe we'll be able to make Toad again. Opponent's going to reveal all beyond the Shrouded Dragon in hand. Effect going to activate. Send a Fallen of Albaz to the graveyard. We're going to make a Formula Synchro. Now we have no negates on field. We want to have something to get negating with. We could have used this Radiant to make a level 9, but... I think I want to a negate. I'm going to make the brawn here. Get drawn. Opponent's going to activate Brandon Bond. We're going to get negating. No special summoning for you. And that's it. Opponent's conceding. All right. Not bad. See, we give up our battle phase, but uh, don't need a battle phase sometimes. Enough negates will do it. Let's check out the opponent's deck list. All right, opponent's playing 44 cards. Ooh, he's got the Alistair. This is Alistair, Alistair Despia Dogmatica. Interesting, interesting. I I kind of, you know, I kind of want to get some copies of Alistair. We got, I'm so used to summoning D.Va, and that's like such a strong normal summon, but Alistair is just even easier. You just summon Alistair, get invocation, that's it, one step. No wombo combos needed. Uh, looks like he's got, yeah, Dogmatica Punishment, got an extra deck full of fusion monsters. This guy's ready for the fusion festival. All right, let's go on to one more game. All right, we're on game three. We're gonna go first. We're gonna do combo number one. Looks like no resistance on the opponent's side. Get activating. Now we're gonna be Kaiju, uh, not Kaiju proof. We're gonna be uh, Meteor proof. Get a look at their hand here. See if he's got an Nibiru. Looks like opponent is playing Trap Tricks. Got a hand full of traps. Now, I think it's arguable what card we want to take here. It might be correct to take Bottomless. We we probably don't want him to have Torrential. And we probably don't want him to have this monster that searches as a trap. We probably don't want him to have Compulsory because that's going to get rid of any monster we control. We really don't want to have Torrential though. So the card we take here won't get randomly discarded. So we're going to take Gravedigger's Trap Hole. It's just going to negate an effect of a monster. So we're going to also search for Milan Glacia here. And we're going to make the Hulk of Fibrax. Fitch the Death Spot out of the deck. 
And we got five waters in grave. So let's get summoning. Get discarding. Opponent's gonna discard compulsory and torrential. Perfect. Get special summon in the Aurodon. Get our tokens, get our death spot out of the graveyard. And we're gonna tribute a token and the Aurodon, just like usual. Get our Mecha Phantom Beast. Get our level eight synchro. Four load Savage Dragon. Get our triple Omni Negates here. Get our token from the old lion. And we're gonna make the Herald. Now any monster that's sent from the field or hand or main deck to the graveyard is banished and sent instead. Opponent's gonna get back his trap. We got the infinite impermanence to negate his monster effects, but opponent not gonna try and fight. They're gonna give up. All right, well, that's the games. Let's check out our opponent's deck. All right, opponent playing 50 card trap tricks. Now I always say this, if you're gonna, oh look, there's an Ibiru. Hey, you gotta play around it, it it's out there. But opponent, look, if you're gonna play more than 40 cards, you play 60 and you put grass in the deck. There's no, like 50 doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand why people play 50. You know, maybe if you got a lot of starters, maybe you gotta, you can't fit exactly 40, maybe you, you gotta put 41. I, I still don't think it's a great idea. I think you want high ratio of starters and you don't want more than 40 cards or you're playing grass and then you want 60. Uh, anything else is, is uh, silliness. All right, let's take a look at our post deck. Extra deck here. Got some nice foil cards. Very nice opponent. Got some foil maxis too. That's a uh, lucky, lucky pulls there. All right, well, let's uh, go back to our deck and let's talk about how Undyne's doing. All right, so Undyne has been performing well. Uh, I, don't, I do think paired to that is because opponents don't know how the card works. And I've seen people negate it. They'll, they'll uh, you know, activate Imperm and negate the Undyne or they'll ash the Undyne. And all that does is stop us from getting Gen X controller, which we don't even really want in hand. So for that reason, Undyne's great. I mean, if we start playing against people who know what this card is, then I feel like it's not gonna be as good because he's just gonna get ashed. I am concerned that the deck is starting to rely a little too heavily on normal summons. We don't have a lot of special summons from the hand. All we really got now is the Teus, since I took out the frog package to fit Undyne and some of our other shenanigans in here. Arguably, we might want to try and make room for the frog package, although there's not really anything left we can cut. I mean, if we want to keep these starters, like we've got to be cutting like maybe Maxi or Ash, and we don't really want to reduce our hand trap percentage. I think the hand traps are good. so. Not sure what else we could cut to make that work. Uh, still, still thinking about it. But overall, I like I like this version of deck. I like having the Undines. It's Undines fun. It's it's a throwback card. So uh, always having a good time watching people negate it. Uh, feeling like a you know mastermind when your uh, Undine gets negated. All right. Well, those are the games for today. Hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.